So let us look now how we can create a bucket and we will upload to it a sample file just to understand how versioning work in S3. So I'm going to go to the S3 console and I will create a bucket. I will call this bucket uh, as usual demo and the date of today because this is will give me a unique uh, name for my bucket. I will choose AWS region US East. We understand before that S3, it's a global service, but when you create a bucket, it will be created in a region. Now for the object ownership, it access less disabled, which means all objects in that bucket are owned only by my account here, this account. So the access to this bucket and its object is specified using only policies. You could enable access list in this case, guys, the bucket can be owned by other AWS account, which means I can share this a bucket or I give another IAM user access to my uh, bucket access, or even I can enable public access later on, similar to what you do in the lab. Now the object ownership here, we have two types. We have the bucket owner and the object writer. So maybe, for example, there is a bucket I share with you and this bucket, all my students are allowed to upload to it an assignment solution. So they want to upload the assignment solution for it. In this particular case, if I put object owner, your assignment will be owned only by you and no other student will be able to read it. If you put the object owner, then I am the only person who have full control over your op um, assignment object. Today we will use a block public access setting, which is by default, so nobody can access the content. If I disable it, now my bucket will be open and um, anybody can access the content of my bucket. However, I will keep it to the default. And this is what I want to show you, which is version. Let me enable it now without any encryption and I will create this bucket. So if that name is unique, I will be allowed to create the bucket. And now my bucket is there. So I will do a very simple scenario here. I have a text file and this is my file let me just type a statement in it this is my file created at 1905 not 19 and this is not all let me save this to my download folder i will call it file.txt just a normal text file and let me drag and drop to s3 and this is how i upload it so now I upload the file. You could do upload via multiple ways, via the clicking here in this button and you drag and drop. You could add files, multiple files, and you can add a specific folder if you have a folder. Now let me go back to my bucket and let me show you a few things here. So this is my file.txt. You will see that this is the owner, okay? And this object has a unique URL in relative to the bucket itself. And you can have a look to all the metadata, the additional checksum, server-side encryption setting, all from the properties as well. Now, if you click on versions, you'll see that this file has only one current version in it. There is not multiple of them. So let me go back now to my file and let me update it. And I will say, this is my file modified at 9.7. Let me save it and go back to my bucket there and let me drag and drop. Now my file appear as one object. So if you open that file here and you click at open, specific files you can open and you see their content, you will see this is the latest modification I made into this file. However, if you want to see all the versions available, you need to enable showing versions here and you can see this is the first one I created at 706 and this is at 707. Now this is the oldest and this is the new one, but this is your current one. Now if you select the current version and let me update a third one just to show you. So let me change the content completely here just to have more data. And there is no reason I'm doing this. I just want to move two different amp of time. And let me now upload this file again to my S3. And in this case here, I should be able to see three different versions of this file. Let me upload it now. If you enable versioning in this scenario here, you will be able to see three different scenarios. So from the console, 
just click on show versions you see one two and three now if you select the first one which i created at 1906 and i click on the delete it will ask me now that you are going to permanently delete this object permanently delete you will delete completely that version you will never be able to restore it but if i go to the latest one and i click on delete this is will enable me also to permanently delete that current version but i will be able to keep the previous ones so if you look here when you have the file and you click delete it will show me now to confirm click on delete which means the object in this case will not be visible in my s3 bucket but if you activate versionings the object is still there but with a delete marker and this is maybe a bit confusing to you guys if i want to restore this particular file i need to select it and i need to click on delete again because this is will delete the delete marker if you click on or if you type now and you confirm that permanently delete this object and click on delete object and then it close and then you go to your bucket you will find that the file come back again so this is how you restore an object and this is how versioning work in s3 still i can see multiple versions available if you select one of them and you click delete now let me show you that just to confirm and then confirm that you want to permanently delete the object in this case the whole version will be deleted so you can see now i have now two versions i don't have multiple versions in this book even there is no version with deleted marker here